zalik this is as it is waman aqaba bi mislim ma uqiba bihi and whosoever take a revenge but equal to the infliction that was inflicted to him summa bughi alayhi then again something wrong is done to them they are more oppressed la yansurannallahu la yansurannahu allah allah will definitely help him because he is being wronged inna allah al afu al ghafur verily allah is pardoning and forgiving zalika bi anna allah yulidu al layla fi an nahar and this is because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the night to merge into the day wa yulidu an nahara fi al layl and makes the day merge into the night wa anna allah samiun basir and because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing all seeing zalika bi anna allah huwa al haqq this ayah appeared in the beginning also zalika bi anna allah huwa al haqq wa annahu yuhyi al mauta wa annahu ala kulli shay'in qadeer again zalika bi anna allah huwa al haqq this is because allah is the absolute truth every other thing can have some element of falsehood in it every other thing but allah is pure truth the truth absolute truth zalika bi anna allah huwa al haqq wa anna ma yaduna min dunihi huwa al batil and all those whom they are calling upon as false gods they are batil they are false they have no existence whatsoever wa anna allah huwa al aliyyul kabir and that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very high very great alam tara anna allah anzala min as samaa'i ma don't you see have you not seen that allah sent down water from the heaven fa tusbihu al-ardu mukhdara then the earth which was lying barren now becomes green inna allah latifun khabir verily allah ta'ala is subtle and aware of everything lahu ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard for him to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth wa inna allah lahu al-ghaniyyul wa inna allah lahu al-ghaniyyul hamid and verily and surely and definitely it is allah who is self sufficient he needs nothing needs none no help whatsoever and he is praiseworthy alam tara anna allah sakhara lakum ma fi as-samaa ma fi al-ard have you not seen that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has subjected to you everything that is in the earth serving you you are utilizing them you are exploiting them wal fulka tajri fil bahr bi amri and these ships they are you know floating in the seas with the command of allah wa yumsiku as-samaa an taqa alaykum and he is withholding the heaven lest the it should fall upon you illa bi izni except with his permission a time will come at the doomsday this this will burst is a samaun shaqqat when this skies and these heavens will be broken but till that time allah is holding them alam tara anna allah sakhara lakum ma fi al-ard wal fulka tajri fi al-bahr bi amrihi wa yumsiku as-samaa an taqa ala al-ard illa bi izni inna allah bin nas al-raufu rahim surely allah is for the human beings very gracious merciful wa huwa alladhi ahyaakum thumma yumitukum and he has given you life and then he will put you to death summa yuhyiku then he will revive you you are living today who has given you the life allah subhanahu wa taala then he will put to you to death he will take away life from you but then the same allah who has done this before he can again revive you yuhyiku inna inna al-insana lakafur but man is very ungrateful to his lord لكل أمة جعلنا من سكنهم ناسكو. For every umma we appointed some devotional rites of sacrifice, and they pursue them. فلا ينازعنا كا ينازعنا كا في الأمر. So, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, these people shouldn't quarrel with you in this matter, because you know the rules of sacrifice of animals in Hajj and Eid al-Adha they are different from the rules of sacrifice which were there for the Jews. Now, if they come and argue. How high have you changed these rules? Well, for every umma, we have fixed the rules. The form of salah for the former umma was different from the form of salah that has been prescribed for us. The detailed rules of psalm for the former umma were different from the rules of psalm which have been prescribed for us. So, for every umma, we have prescribed these sacrificial uh, rites, so they shouldn't therefore quarrel with you concerning these things. One or another, Arabic. and oh muhammad you keep on calling them towards your lord 
ان کالا آلا ہدم مستقیم ویریلی شیورلی یو آر آن دی گائیڈنس اینڈ دی گائیڈنس وچ از ویری اسٹریٹ وہ ان جہاد الو کا اینڈ اف دے آر گو ود یو دے کوارل ود یو فقول اللہ عالم بما تعملون سے ٹو دیم اللہ بیسٹ نوز وٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ اللہ یا کو مبین کو یوم القیامہ فی ما کن تو فی تختلفون اینڈ اللہ ول جج بٹوین یو آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ آن آل میٹرز ان وچ یو ہیڈ بین ڈفرنگ علم تعالیم ان اللہ یا علم معاف سمائے ولب ڈونٹ یو نو دیٹ اللہ نوز وٹ ایور از ان دی ارتھ ان دی ہیون اینڈ ان دی ارتھ ان نفال کفی کتاب ایوری تھنگ از ریٹرن ان اے بک ان نظال کال اللہ یسیر اینڈ ڈیفینیٹلی دس از ویری ایزی فار اللہ اٹ مائٹ سیم ڈیفیکلٹ فار یو ہاؤ کین بی پاسبل آل دی ڈیڈز آف آل دی ہیومن بینگس ریٹرن اینڈ ریکارڈیڈ ہاؤ مینی ڈیڈز آئی پرفارم ڈیلی مائی یو نو ایوری موومنٹ ریکارڈیڈ اٹ کڈ بی ان امیجنیبل فار پیپل ون سینچری بفور بٹ ناؤ یو کین ہیو اے ویڈیو فلم آف دی یور لائف ایوری تھنگ ریکارڈیڈ اے ٹیپ آف یور وائس اینڈ ایوری سنگل ورڈ یو اٹر از ریکارڈیڈ now it is very easy very easy to believe in these things but imagine about 200 years back when there were no tape recorders and when there were no photography and no, no this filming and all those but this was they had to believe in it that allah records everything everything it is in a book it's in a record wa ya'buduna min dunillahi ma lam yunazzil bihi sultana and they are worshiping beside allah those for whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent down any proof any authority وما لیس الحم بہی علم اینڈ فار وچ دے ہیو نو نالج وما لمین امن نصیر اینڈ فار دوز ایول ڈوئرس دیر آر ول بی نو ہیلپر آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ وزات اللہ علیہ آیات نا بیناتن اینڈ وین اور کلیئر ریولیشنز آر ریسائٹیڈ ان ٹو دیم تار فوفی وجوہ الدین کفر المنکر یو کین سی این وٹنس that on the faces of these kuffar there is repugnance anger you are reciting quran to them and they are feeling anger there is a reaction <laughs> repugnance yakaduna yastuna bil lazina yatluna alaihim ayatina they are very near on rushing upon those who are reciting to them the ayat of allah and killing them یسلون اب الزین یتلون علیہ آیاتنا دے آر سو اینگری دے آر سو ڈس پلیز ود دیز آیات آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ قل افا انب کم بے شر من ذال کم سے ٹو دیم شوڈ آئی ٹیل یو وٹ از وٹ از مور بیڈ ورس دین دس وٹ یو آر فیلنگ ٹوڈے دس اینگر دس ریپگنس وٹ از مور بیڈ دین دس انار دیٹ فائر ان وچ یو ول بی تھرون that is much worse you are feeling the pain why these ayat are being recited to me why this you know revelations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being communicated to me but the pain of this hell fire when you will be thrown in will be much greater wa'da allah wa'da allah kafaru and allah has promised that fire of hell to those who disbelieve wa bais al masir and that is a very bad place the destination to return to Now the last section of this surah is very, very profound, very comprehensive. The whole essence of the call of Quran, given in six ayat. This is one of the lessons of a selected course of study of the Quran that I you know, edited about 30 years back. And all, you know, my movement that is actually based on that selected course of study of quran it comes to about equal to two parts of quran 115th quran but it contains the essence of quran the basic themes the basic teachings and this last section of surah al-hajj is the so to say the central lesson of this selected course of study which we shall inshallah study later